Dean, you must be delighted with that one. Good to respond. Um, delighted for our supporters. Uh, we all went and seen them at the end there. I'm just delighted for us. We've been through a tough time. And sometimes, you know, a friend of mine always says to me from the boxing attorney, and he always says to me, it's the 11th round, you just got to bite down on the gun shield and get through it. And that's what we did today. You know, what? But, like I say, I say obviously, we're depleted. We've been depleted for a long time. And, uh, yeah, look, a little bit of lady luck at the end, a little bit of Irish luck, and uh, but we worked hard, we earned the luck, and that's what happens in life. You grew up against people, you run hard, um, and so we had a little bit of luck, but we made our own luck, so... All in all, a draw probably would have been a fair result, but I'll take the three points when they come along in this division. It's our first win in six league games. How, how much do you feel like we, we need this uh, this victory as, as a club and as a team? Yeah, we well, needed it personally. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's been difficult. It's been a difficult few weeks. Um, so yeah, so look, I'm delighted for our players as well, especially the lads like you know Rico and that West Fonguk, Harry Taylor. Hardy's not fully right and he's playing so that's what you need you know Jordan Thomas has just come back from a, a long stint out so uh, young Eamon obviously showed a bit of character in the end he sort of you know got himself in no man's land for the second goal for the equaliser so good experience for them and uh, Marriott again with two Ryan de Havilland 20, 20 years of age Ryan de Havilland what prospect he is um, so yeah learning the game and uh, just delighted really I'll be, I'll be honest I'm absolutely delighted Three very different goals away from home. What, what, what do you make of them? Yeah, fourth goal. Um, obviously, great opportunity. Efron got himself in behind. Good pass from Jordan Thomas. Great penetrating run. Straight ball, diagonal run from Efron. And he's got him one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, so I'm not sure why it wasn't a red card. And he's been tripped as he's gone to shoot. So I thought the ref did well to bring it back and give the penalty out. In the sort of chance Maz had, the second chance he had. So, look, it is what it is. So, took the penalty, finished it, which was nice to get a penalty again. And then, um, obviously, the second goal is just a poacher's goal. It's just what Adam Marriott does. And, uh, and then, to be fair, the tour goal, Teddy's done well down the right-hand side. And Ryan's just, they've made an error, and Ryan's found himself in a lovely position. It's fell to him lovely. He slotted at home. So, and we, 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 have, we have 15, 16 minutes with, uh, with 10 men, probably with the added on time, the five minutes, probably 20 minutes with 10 men. So, show good character. And we show what it takes. So, yeah, we're very pleased. Was Mark handed the penalty after Efron's uh, missed one last weekend? I left it to them, to be honest with you. I would have left Efron on them, personally. But it was up to them, too. So I don't think Maz is going to let that go. You know what Maz is like. So I don't know how many Maz has got now, but he's, he's had a, I think he's had a great season in a team that hasn't fully got going. I think we got going sort of before the Chesterfield and the Stockport game. It looked like, you know, around that period. And when we got COVID, uh, after we played Yeovil, we had COVID. I don't think we played in the league again until the 2nd of January. So we sort of a month without a game and we sort of done well to bounce back. Then we obviously had an incident and uh, that, that hurt us, um, hurt the group. And sort of, we've sort of done well to start relegation, to be totally honest with you, um, with everything that's gone on. But look, that's all in the past and all we can do is, like I say, this business moves on fast. You move on to the next game and we've got to enjoy this evening. It, it, I felt like it, it took us a while, a while to get going in the first half. Um, we, did, we didn't create many chances. What, what do you put that down to? big wind here obviously you might be able to hear it on, on the microphone and that's a big wind here going towards the goal down this end and you know in a, in a way it was a game of two halves when we got two one up it looked like we were going to go three four in the second half but we're in the first half to be fair to them you know they asked questions of us we stood up but not too bad a clear foul by the way for their goal it's a clear foul on, on Ross Marshall you'll see that back on the highlights I watched it at halftime clear foul ever and I quite like Lloyd as a referee he's obviously made an error there uh, and he's the type of referee that'll give you a call to be fair and say, look, I made an error there, but it was a clear foul on Ross Marsh. And that didn't go for us. And to be fair to them, they punished us for that. And then um, they had no real clear, clear chances. They had a free header, I think, in the fourth half as well. They should have probably done better. But just wanted to stay in the game, really, get to half time and come out the blocks flying. The lads took on board the instructions at half time. And full credit to them. And, you know, we thought we were going to kick on and run on at 2 1. It looked like it was going to go that way. And uh, to be fair, sort of a cheap goal we give away. Sort of an individual error again, which is not a lot I can do about. But Look, we showed character to come back and we walked our socks off. We dug in. Like I said, we bit down on that gum shield and we kept going. So, yeah, we are in the 11th round, sort of going into the 12th. And we've got to make sure we stay on beat for the next four games. That was the challenge I set the lads last week uh, on Friday. So, hopefully we can uh, we can stand up to that challenge. How pleased are you with the character shown from the lads? Obviously, to, to go and get the winner, having uh, been reduced to 10 men. Yeah, great character. You know, we have got character within the group. We've got some good lads. We've been through a lot this season. A lot's gone on at our football club this season. We've been through a lot. I think we're about sort of 11, 12 games to go. We knew we were out of relegation. Um, obviously, you do have players with different mindsets when that happens. It was after the Maidenhead game. 
you know, we have different mindsets, different situations, different scenarios individually. So it is what it is. Um, with the lads that have gone out there today, I'm proud of them, to be honest with you, and our know, supporters should be as well, because we've been through a really tough time. You've got to remember as well, we just come off the back of playing um, four games in nine days. Not easy games either, you know, so um, we managed to lift the trophy within that. Um, but I'm delighted with our result today. It's, uh, it's a good result, and that's for our supporters. It's for our chairman um, and his family, and you know, all is for you. It's for everyone that's involved in the football club, because it's hard to win football games at this level. It's important that we can obviously now kick on and use today's positives to, to uh, hopefully finish the season strongly with our final four games. Yeah, we get a full week now. Uh, hopefully we can get a couple of players back. You'd be hoping that you'd have Sam Beard back. You'd hope we'd probably have Jamie Torley back, our captain. He's a big player for us when he's on the pitch. He's a massive player for us. He's a big character as well. So, And, and all the younger players look up to him as well. So um, you'd hope Aston's got a chance of coming back as well. Um, I don't know how he is with his concussion situation. He's been out for nearly five weeks now, so that's been frustrating. Um, so we'd hope to have a few back and have a few uh, selection hags, but we go into a tough weekend. Um, you know, Grimsby, I don't know how they got them today, but they're a good side. Uh, and they're looking, obviously, to get promoted, and then you go all through them away. So there's just no easy game. So we'll see how we get through the week. We'll make it bright and breezy. We'll have a game plan for both games. We'll come in next Sunday as well. So, um, yeah, let's see how we go. We saw you interacting with the fans right after the full-time whistle. Uh, what, what, what did you make of their support today? Yeah, that's what that was for them. You know, that's so important. We appreciate them. You know what I say all the time? We've got to give them something to sing about. And we did today. You know, like I say, they've been through tough times for the last couple of years, two or three years. It's been difficult. And uh, we're trying to create it together. And this between myself, the players and the supporters, and, uh, and upstairs as well. I think that's so important that we stick together. Um, and with togetherness, you can achieve anything. Something have showed you that. Hartlepool have showed you that out of this division. Um, Halifax are showing you that this season um, it's all about sticking together and there's no easy games in this division it's a long season um, sort of the first big hurdle we, we jumped which was making sure we didn't get relegated and now we've got sort of like good footings good foundations to kick on and um, let's say we'll see through the next four, uh, four games and hopefully we can stay on beating and, and that'll give us a boost going into the summer and uh, see how we get on from there Thanks for your time today Cheers mate, top man